According to Jewish narratives, it was David, peace be upon him, who laid the foundations for the construction of the temple, but he died before he began building it. His son Solomon, peace be upon him, was the one who built the temple on top of Mount Maria, which is known as the Haram Plateau. This is the place where Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock are located. Do you know the origin of Solomon's temple? Did he build it? Sheikh. Yes, he did. It was said that Abraham, peace be upon him, built two temples, or two houses of worship to God. The first house is the Kaaba in Mecca, and the second is in Jerusalem, which is the holy place. The children of Israel kept there an ark called the Ark of the Covenant. And in the ark, there are relics of our master Moses, peace be upon him, and Aaron, peace be upon him, which is the staff of Moses and Aaron's shawl. And there was a bow or chest that they fought with, which was placed in the temple. And in the dome of the rock, there is an inner room and an outer room. And the inner room is called the Holy of Holies. And it is like the Kaaba of the Jews, Kodesh Kodashim. And in the Arabic word, it is holy, and outside it is a layer. And outside it, there is something like walls. And no one can enter this inner room except the high priest once a year, which is the great day of Yom Kippur. And the priest can say the name of God only once a year. And no Jew can say the name of God. So only the priest says the name of God. There is a great misunderstanding among many Muslims who believe that when Solomon, peace be upon him, ordered his people to bring the throne of Sheba to him, it came through a powerful jinn called Ifrit. But there is another saying, that says that there was a man of strong faith who called upon God by his greatest name, which if he called upon him, he answered. And if he asked him, he gave. So God answered him. So this man who had knowledge of the book, he was able to bring the throne faster than the jinn, because knowledge is much stronger than physical strength. So the prophet always says in his supplication, O oh God, increase my knowledge as it is the only thing that he asked his Lord for more of. However, knowledge and information must be used in the correct manner because this is poison against you. You will be asked on the day of resurrection, what did you do with all this knowledge? Just as you will be asked about money, what did you do with it? There are people who are starving. Those who ask God to be rich, this money could be a reason for their distance from God and perhaps a reason for them entering heaven.